There certainly are lots of options for this 1930s house. So what does a local estate agent make of it all? The thing that sells 1930s houses generally is it was during a period of construction that was uh, very substantial, um, very good quality, and, and still retained a lot of character. The only concern that was immediately apparent was the sloping floor as you enter the hallway. It's not difficult to spot, so that's certainly worth checking out and, and investigating. So if the house gets just a freshen up and a refurbishment, what would it be worth then? I would anticipate it selling for about £350,000 and to rent perhaps £1,300 per calendar month. So, good potential profit and also the simplest option. But with that extra land to the side, what does he think the best option would be? I think that lends itself to either a very substantial double-storey extension or maybe they might even be able to squeeze a, a small uh, detached property in the space. And how would that affect the income potential? If the property were extended on the side, uh, perhaps a big double-storey extension providing, say, two additional bedrooms, uh, another reception room, an extended kitchen, that would allow the owner, I think, to exploit the, uh, the value to the extent of perhaps 425, uh, maybe 450,000 pounds if it's done very well and it is big. That's the key. That's good news if selling, but a bigger house in this area would probably only increase the rental income by a few hundred pounds, hardly worth the effort, which leaves us with the final and most exciting option, building an additional house to the side. The value of the original building would obviously suffer, but how much could both properties sell for? You could be achieving £300,000 for the original house, plus £300,000 for the new house, from a rental perspective, again, you could simply double the anticipated value of the original house. So you've got two times £1,300, that's £2,600 per calendar month for the combined project. 